in this example, I want to show you a neat trick you can do to scale and rotate pages of varying sizes onto one single sheet size like an 8 hand by 11 document using Impose. So I'm going to click on the New Job button here. And this is going to open up Impose, Compose, Job Master, whatever you're running. But you've got to have Impose to do this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Finish Size. And I'm going to select Based on Crop Box. And I'm going to change that to User Define. Now two things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to allow me to define my finish size here as well as just turn on this auto page rotation. So in this example, I'm going to put an 8.5 by 11 okay, as my finish size. And of course, that will go on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. I'm then going to turn on auto rotation to clockwise. And then I'm going to come down here to scaling and say I want to fit the finish size proportionally. So now I've done that. So at this point, I could save this as an imposition template, and I could just drag documents in or whatever I want to do with it, create it, and use it in a workflow. But for this example, I'll just show you what we're going to do. So now I'm going to hit Insert PDF, or Postscript File, and I'm going to bring in a uh, 11 by 17 document. So it's going to come here, and I'm going to drag it over to my pane. What you're going to see is it's taken that 11 by 17 document and just rotated and rescaled it automatically for me. Let's go out and grab another one. I'll go grab uh, two pages like so. Again, bring it in. You can see how it automatically scaled and rotated. If I have one that has mixed sizes in it, okay, so in this example here, you're going to see that I have some 8.5 by 11 documents here, the first uh, seven pages, and then the next two are 11 by 17. Again, same thing, we drag them in, right? This is all looking great, right? And then our pages uh, 11 and 12, you're going to see that they've been scaled and rotated as well. And the same thing holds true for um, documents if you um, want to insert one that's a little bit smaller, like an example here, a notepad. Again, we can click on that, bring the notepad in like so. And again, that will actually end up scaling it to fit on that sheet. So a really cool thing you can use to rescale mix sizes inside of a document to finish to be finished on one sheet size.